Hey guys, Zenbloke here. I've just been tooling around with the creator on Grand Theft Auto Online and I thought I'd make a little point to point race and I thought I'd give you a little demo of it. So here we go. Oops. There we go. Tried to make this one relatively diverse. Nice and whoops. <laughs> Long. You get some craziness out of it. Don't make it too obvious, but not make it too insane either. I've called it Overground Underground. And those of you who've grown up in the UK should hopefully get that reference. And I've tried to make a few little sneaky corners, but you definitely have to like change your tactic. little bits of slowing down and speeding up with a few clever little jumps in this so if you've watched this video and you like my stuff then if you race against someone else who hasn't been watching my videos you'll have the inside track <laughs> how do you like them apples don't say I don't ever give you nothing I drew inspiration from a couple of things, like for this bit here I was thinking of Terminator 2, that's such a good flick. Kind of kept up in a bit of a Death Race 2000 vibe as well, but there's nobody to really run down. The water level of course is off, the traffic is off. Although admittedly for most of the race that wouldn't really be an issue anyway. Uh, I've taken the weapons out because I thought it'd be carnage, in, carnage enough anyway without the weapons. Ah, this is where it gets fun. This is the underground section. Now it's hard to do commentary and play at the same time. But so far I think I'm doing it. Whoops. So these sort of lovely little sections here where all the cars will collide together and it should be a bit of a laugh and there'll be some good banter flying back and forth if people have mics. If you're playing Grand Theft Auto without a mic, I don't know what you're doing but I guess it's more power to you if you think you can go that way. But for giving it squads and stuff and the heist yet to come if people stop hacking then everything should be groovy. I will however say at this point, if you're liking my videos, then please share my videos, spread my channel around, because I recently got up to 18 subscribers and I would like more. Be careful with that stairwell there, because you hit the wrong bit of it. You end up in nothing. Well, nothing you can get out of because you just get stuck in this weird little ditch. And you'd have to reset. So everybody went pissing ahead of you. I hear I went for a little bit of a uh, motor storm apocalypse. If you've played that game, you'll recognise what I'm doing here. And you should totally play it because it is really the best of the of the not burn. Sorry, what am I talking about? Motor Storm. Motor Storm Apocalypse, such a brilliant game, so underrated. And as I said in a previous video, if I hadn't moved for the Japanese tsunami, we'd probably all still be playing it. Uh, there we go, out into the daylight. Up this ramp. It's a lovely big long race here, so plenty of opportunities to get back positions and to overtake and you know. All kinds of fun stuff. But here's where it gets interesting. Have to come right back on yourself. Take an immediate corner, which I missed even though I'd made it. So I've given this a good challenge factor. Straight over this ramp. Okay, 
imagine if you've got like five cars going over that, trying to get over that ramp at the same time. That should be a good giggle. Nice big straight here, we've got a bit of bend in it. Catch up lots and lots of speed, because you're going to need it. If we're going to hit this just right. Here, sharp corner, sharp corner again. This is why I made it off road vehicles because you're going to be doing a lot of off roading and back up into some more raised motorway. I don't really think it, this race goes on forever, yep, it sure does. Little surprise corner there. Got too busy talking to remember where it was. It's been nice, unpredictable, bumpy land, so chances for overtaking or vehicle spillage or anybody that's leading and getting a bit cocky. This is a lovely bit here. I remember playing this a lot in the actual story mode, this jump. That I actually jumped over the checkpoint. So do be careful. And there we go, that's that got. Didn't think it was possible to jump over a checkpoint, but you live and you learn with Grand Theft Auto Online. Another sharp corner coming up. And back into the storm range we go. Narrow passages to separate the men from the boys. Lots of things now between two pillars. The best driving skills here, fellas. The slender little wall section. Cross through the water. Because nobody can go full tilt in the water. Always slows you down. A little jump here. Watch out for the rocks. <laughs> you get this bit right so you maintain your speed and you can stay on the sand when you're winning. Right here. Round up to this bit. Sharp corner coming. Roading happening here. Nice uneven land again. So we go. Yeah, nice bit of chicaning. So you gotta work your cornering around here. We're going to come to the section of this. That's why I took the traffic off. So it's already hard enough of that. Up. Putting traffic in would just be taking the piss. Nice big straight here. Whoop. See lots of lovely things for you to bump into if you're not looking what you're doing. Hoping only 43 will be able to play this. I don't know if the stuff that PS4, PS3 people make is accessible to Xbox people. I certainly hope it is. And round here. Getting onto the beach. We're getting close to the end there, guys. Last dash for glory across the sand. Wanted to end up somewhere big and open and sunny. So I just thought I'd end it up on the beach. And almost in the drink, but not quite. Anyway, that has been a successful test. It's already been launched. And hopefully you will enjoy it. Anyway, let's turn this camera around.
So this is me, as usual, Zen Bloke, saying hi, nay bother, and remember to rate, favourite, share, subscribe, all that jazz. Nay bother.